What it do? Dream Team, it's your boy D. Neil, back with another video about the great country, the United States of America. And here we are doing five things about America that other countries do not understand. I'm ready to dive right into this, but before we do, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button like 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 right now like 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 like, like right now uh, make sure you ring the notification bell give that video a thumbs up so it gets suggested i got social media and patreon all up top if there's a topic you want to hear me talk about or there's a certain video you want to see me react to you can drop it in the comment section or subscribe to patreon but without further ado let's get to point number one American patriotism. I've seen this in so many different videos where people from other countries are talking about America is like the only country that literally like has flags everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I'm talking about everywhere. I'm talking about on your houses. I'm talking about in your lawns. I'm talking about at the cemetery. I'm talking about at the schools. I'm talking about in your bedroom. I'm talking <laughs> and literally everywhere you can think of. We have flags. Uh, and then I feel like what we call patriotism, a lot of other countries see as indoctrination, really. It really, when you have to grow up saying like the Pledge of Allegiance every single morning, I can, I can understand where that perspective comes from. From an outside perspective looking in, I can understand what people mean by that. I, from an inside perspective, I don't really see see it as indoctrination because i feel like i, st I c i'm still very capable of thinking for myself yeah i do love america but at the same time i also understand that america has a lot of problems like any country would and so it's like yeah i love my country but i also understand hey there are some things we could do there, there's some things we could do a lot of things not some a lot of things that would make this country a lot better some we'll talk about in the rest of the points but uh and so i i don't see it as indoctrination but from an outside perspective i can see a lot of other people would uh i just see it as a form of patriotism and people just absolutely love into the, their country now when you love it to the point where you think like it's the greatest place in the world without even knowing what anywhere else in the world is like. Then it's like, calm down. You you only been here. You don't know what it's like in the rest of the world. So how, how can you automatically call it the greatest? And if you refuse to see any problems that can be fixed, I can understand. Uh, then I'll be like, you, you, you. You may have been indoctrinated just a tad. Just, but we're going to jump off that point. Point number two. We got the Fahrenheit and the imperialistic systems. Like, I don't know why America got to be different. I Don't ask me. I don't know why the rest of the world was using Celsius and then somebody in America said, you know what? Let's be different. Let, let's use our own form of temperature. I don't know where we got it from. I, we're one of the youngest countries in the world. We had to get it from somewhere else. You feel me? And I don't know why we stuck with it. If I had to look at Celsius and Fahrenheit and I didn't know either one of them, I would say Celsius makes a lot more sense. But seeing that I've grown up with Fahrenheit, I, I don't want to change at this point because I already understand Fahrenheit. And so hey, it's you can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> I, we just we just got to stick to it. Same thing with the imperialistic system. I don't know. I don't know where we came up with the feet and the yards and the miles and all this with other countries using meters and all of that. I, I don't know. We, I guess we like being different. We just want to be different. Is that what it is? Uh, I wish I could give you a better answer, but and I don't know why we do month, day, year when so many else place, so many other places do day, month, year, which seems like it would also make more sense. <laughs> These are things that uh, I would have to do research on and find out for y'all the, the, the best answer I could give. America just, just wants to be different. 
America just wants to be different. But we gonna move on to point number three. Point number three, I'm sure all, all of you guys, especially outside of America, know and are familiar with is the healthcare system. <clears throat> we spend the most money on healthcare. As a country, we spend the absolute most. But the results, they not they aren't as good as countries who spend much less money on healthcare. And America also has the most medical debt, I believe, in the world. Like, it doesn't make sense to get sick or to get hurt, have to go to the doctor. You know what I'm saying? They fix you up. We appreciate that. We love that. But then when you leave and you look at the bill, you way worse off than you was when you were sick or you was hurt. <laughs> you feel me? It's doc. You should have left my arm hanging. You should have left that bone broken. Because I ain't going to be able to pay this. I, I can't pay this. Even I feel like with good insurance, like we're still paying so much more than uh, most other countries in the world who provide free health care. And I know what you're saying. Well, Darian, it's, it's not free. It comes out of their taxes and everything. Yeah, it does. But still, like there's everybody's able to get health care whereas over here it's like there's so many millions of americans that do not have health care that can't afford health care and if they get hurt or if they get sick they're just crap out of luck they're just crap out of luck uh and so uh i i, I find that absolutely crazy i saw I was watching The Sopranos. I'm sorry to go off into a quick story. It'll be quick, I promise. I was watching The Sopranos, and they was talking about my guy uh, had a had a no. He was uh, in a crash or something. He was shot. No, he was shot. Uh, so they took him in an ambulance, and they did what they call like while they were in the ambulance a wallet biopsy. They checked. They went into his pockets, checked his wallet to see what kind of insurance he had before they took him to a medical center. Know what I'm saying? They said, if he didn't have good insurance, he was gonna get much less medical care, like like much less quality of medical care. But because he had good insurance, they took him to a medical center that provided great medical care. And it's like, I was sitting there like, are you serious? It, it baffled me, but but that's that's enough of me ranting. That That's the third point. Fourth point is gun laws because when we have more massacres than days in a year in this country like at some point we have to we have to acknowledge that there needs to be some kind of reform now i'm not naive in thinking that we can ban guns in america i know that we can't i know it's not a realistic goal but we can do some kind of gun reform, some gun laws that make it a harder process to attain a gun. You feel me? You shouldn't be able to walk into like a gun show or a gun event and walk out with a gun. I know you got your, uh, you walk into a store, you got to go through background checks, but you know what I'm saying? People, we need to make sure that people know how to use these weapons safely before we just hand it to them. Before you, here you go. Here, we, we never seen you shoot a gun. We don't know if you can use it safely, but here's a, here, here's a weapon that can kill multiple people in seconds. Why do we need semi-automatic or automatic weapons? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I feel like <clears throat> so many other countries have great gun laws and have in correspondence with that, much less gun violence, much less gun deaths. Some countries, well, I can't think of any that ban guns, but just very strict gun laws and their gun rates, their, their gun uh, violence, gun gun deaths dropped drastically. So uh, every time we, we get into this argument of, of stricter gun laws, people are like, well, the people with bad, the bad people are gonna be the only ones who have their hands on guns. It's gonna be harder for the good people to get their hands on guns, but it's like, Bro, like, at, really, you can go and get your gun as a good guy, but life happens to people. I don't know if people, 
Life happens. Depression happens. People get upset. And when people get upset, it's probably not the best idea for them to have a gun around. So good guys can turn to bad guys in a split second when life hits them and they just had enough. They so it's not just like criminals walking around walking in a gun store, like I'm getting this gun to do criminal activity. It's not that. You feel me? And uh if it works in so much other places, why couldn't it work here? Uh <clears throat> but I don't I I'm not a hundred percent knowledgeable about all the gun laws, but I'm just saying I, I, it seems like every time it seems like every time there's like a gun massacre or a school shooting or anything, you have this large group of people that say more guns every single time. And then another massacre, more guns. And then a, it's like, bro, how many times are we going to understand that more guns is not the answer? If you keep doing the same thing to expect different results, that is the definition of insanity people we're gonna get off that though number five i feel like a lot of countries see us like when we're very being friendly to strangers or friendly to people that we don't know or we're just able to go up to people and talk to them a lot of people see that as like fake when we're smiling and like like talking with people and and we're just being friendly i feel like a lot of other countries see that as being fake or disingenuous and it's like no, like a lot of us just really are cool. A lot of people are outgoing. Me personally, I'm more introverted. I'm less likely to walk up to someone I don't know and like start a conversation or, or be friendly with them. But if somebody does walk up to me and is like, no one's trying to talk to me, like I'm very friendly, I'm very open, I'm very welcoming, very warm. That's that's just who we are. Like, like I am happy most of the time. This smile is not fake. I, I'm literally happy. 90% of the time like don't get me wrong I'm a human being I do go through some different emotions but for the most part like I'm just a happy person like that that's it's not fake it's not disingenuous it's just and I feel like a lot of other countries really don't understand that about us they see us smile they see us always being positive optimistic happy and they're like that they're not that happy that's superficial that's fake and it's like like nah like it's really like this but uh that's all we got for the video if you guys have some things that you don't understand about americans and you want to see me talk about it the comment section is open it's open and it's waiting and if you guys feel a certain way about anything i said in this video the comment section is open and it's waiting for you to drop your comment but that's all we get and also if you guys got a video topic you'd like to see me uh talk about or a, a video you'd like to see me react to you can subscribe to patreon and request it there or you can drop it in the comment section but make sure you subscribe to the channel ring the notification bell get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested i love talking to you guys you guys are the most incredible team on youtube it's your boy d out